Hi, Deirdre McNamara here. I'm going to show you how to use Mail Merge in uh, Microsoft Word 2010. Um, what I've opened here in front of me is a, a letterhead of a, an imaginary hotel, the Letterkenny Plaza Hotel. And this is a standard letter that we'd like to send to a number of customers. Um, it's a letter that confirms a, a, a reservation for a particular date, for a number of nights um, and a particular room type. Um, so just to save time, I've already typed up a fair bit of, of this uh, letter and it just uses um, one of the pre-built um, Microsoft Word templates uh, to create the letter. Uh, but you could use any other letter that you just typed up uh, yourself. Okay, now to start off um, doing mail merge, um, you click on the mailings tab, um, click on start mail merge and there are a number of ways of doing this. I find the easiest way is to click on the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. So if you click on that, you're now looking over at the right-hand side of the screen and you can see down the bottom right-hand corner it says step one of six. Okay, um, It's asking you, step one is select the document type. It's a letter, that's correct, that's what we're doing. So we move on to step two, so we click down here to step two. Um, select the starting document. Um, I've already created my document so I'm going to use um, I'm going to use uh, use the current document um, or you could open up a, a document if you want to at this point but use the current document that's fine and uh, we go to the next step now so next we're now on step three um, so it's asking us who we want to send this uh, standard letter to um, we haven't actually typed up the details yet. Sometimes you might have this information that you already have stored in an Excel spreadsheet or in an Access database. It's already typed up for you. In this case, we're going to type the information from scratch. Um, so in here, I'm going to choose Type a New List. So that's what I'm choosing. Um, and then I'm not finished with this step. I need to create the new list. So I click on that. Um, and they have decided what sort of information I want. Um, actually, they're not the titles that I would like to use. I'm going to click on Customize Columns. So if I click on that, um, title, that's fine. First name is fine, last name. Company name is okay. Address line one, address line two. City, I'm not really going to use that one. So I'm going to delete that. Um, state is no good to me, so I'm going to delete that zip code, I'm going to delete that. Uh, country or region, um, I'm going to delete that. Uh, home phone number, don't want that. Work phone number, don't want that. Uh, email address, I'm going to keep, but I'd like to add some other ones. So I'm just going to click on the add button and I'm going to type in confirmation, confirmation number. Uh, and the other thing I'd like is number of nights. So I'm just going to type num nights. Um, room type. And arrival date. Okay. Um, and if I want them in a different order, I can move up or move down um, depending on. But that order is quite okay for me. So I'm going to click on OK there. Um, so I'm going to click on new entry. Oh, sorry. I'm going to, I'm going to type one first. So I'll type in Mr. I'm not putting in a full stop or anything like that because I'm going to use open punctuation. Um, and in here, I'm going to type in Tom. And I'm using tab to move to the next one. So Tom Brown. I'm just going to hit pause and do the rest of the typing so I'm not boring. I, okay, I've just done a bit more typing. I just put in four um, recipients and I just typed in uh, title, first name, last name, company name. Now you'll notice here for Mary Kelly there was no company name, so I'm just going to leave that one blank. Um, and I filled in address line one, address line two. I, am, I added another field in here, uh, country. Email address, confirmation numbers, number of nights that they were staying in the hotel, the room type they'd chosen. And, oh, I forgot to put in the arrival date. So I'll just show you how I can put them in. So, for example, the 15th of the 2nd, 2012. And then here it will make this the 17th of the 2nd, 2012. Okay, so I'm happy. I can look at all of those. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click on uh, OK. 
Uh, now, it's asking you to save this information. This is information you might use a number of times. So this is probably the most important file that you'll create. So I always use the word data in my file names. I'm just going to type in mail merge data. Um, and, and we'll just do confirmation. Confirmation letter, and I'm just going to put it onto. Um, okay, so I'm happy to, to use all of those, that's fine, uh, and click on OK. So back to this uh, mail work merge wizard over here, uh, we're on step three. Uh, we've typed in all of our names and addresses and all of the information we needed to type in. So we'll move to step four, we'll write the letter. Now, um, we've done a lot of the typing already. Uh, what we need to do is put in the person that we're writing to's um, name and address. So, um, so what I do is I click on insert merge field up here and click on title and put in a space. So that when we move it to the next stage will turn into Mr or Ms or Mrs or whatever and we need a space after the Mr uh, and then we'll insert merge field um, first name, space, insert merge field, last name. So we'll move on to a new line then. Insert merge field, company name. Insert merge field, address line one. Move down, address line two. Move down and county. Okay, then I'll put in the date. So we'll just say it's the um, first of the first. Okay, so um, we'd like this to read Dear Mr. Brown or Dear Ms. Kelly or whatever. So after the Dear in here, insert merge field title, space, insert merge field last name. So that will now read when we convert it over Dear Mr. Brown or Dear Ms. Kelly. Okay, we're going with open punctuation, so I'm not going to put a comma at the end here. Okay, now we'd like this person's confirmation number to appear. So I'm going to click in here. I've just inserted a table with no borders, um, and that's explained in a previous um, video that I created. So confirmation number, that's a merge field, insert merge field, confirmation number. And so that will be replaced by the actual confirmation number for this particular person. Arrival date, that's another merge field. Um, arrival date. Number of nights, again, uh, number of the nights and um, room type is room type. Okay, so we've put in um, all of the fields that we need. Just make sure that it looks reasonably okay. Um, it's spaced out uh, correctly and anything, you know, check it for, for typos and all the rest. For example, here I just realized that's not spelled correctly, that should be plaza. Um, make sure that you're happy with the letter. Um, and then we'll move on to the next stage. So click on next, preview your letter. And so this is the first of our letters. Uh, we can go to other letters by clicking up here. So this is Mr. Tom Brown, IBM, 11 High Street, Clapham, UK. That's the date. Dear Mr. Brown, thank you for choosing whatever. Confirmation number is that. Arrival date is that. Number of nights to room type business standard. So we look at the second letter. This is going to Ms. Kelly, Miss Mary Kelly. And again, a different confirmation number showing here, a different date different number of nights, family suite, and we can check all of the um, different letters. And in this case, we just have four different letters that we're going out. Yeah, that looks okay. We're happy enough with that. Um, and then so we next, we click on next, complete the merge. So we can click on that. Okay. In here, um, often you don't want to save this file. It might be a very large file. Um, and if uh, not, you can just hit uh, print. Normally I would just go straight to print. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to um, click on edit um, individual letters. And this creates a new file with uh, all of the letters put onto separate pages. So I'm going to click on that. We do want to merge all of the records. That's fine. And we click on OK. So up the top, you'll notice this is now called letters one. Uh, and it's a separate document. Um, and it's a document with four pages in it. And you'll see each page has a separate letter on it. Okay, and you can save this one or print this one uh, as desired. Okay, I'm going to um, save this file now. So file, save as. 
and I will just do merged. I use the word merged um, in the file name so that I know what's what. We've got a main document which holds all of those fields. We've got the data document which holds all the names and addresses. And we've got the merge document which is just a plain old document with many pages that are repeated uh, in it. So we'll hit save on that. And then I'm going to close it. Um, now this is the main document, mail merge uh, document main. That's our main document. Uh, make sure you save that one. So I'm finished with this one now, so I'm going to go File and Close. Don't want to save the changes, yes. So the next thing I want to do is I want to um, create um, our labels. Uh, I'm going to use labels um, that I already have. I've got a box of labels here, and I want to create the labels using the data file we created. So let's click on Mailings, Start Mail Merge, Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Miz Wizard. Okay, so over here, the first step, the last time we chose letters, this time we're going to choose labels. Or you could do envelopes if you're going to put the envelopes through your printer. I find they tend to stick in the printer and I try and avoid that. So I use labels. So I click on that and, and click to step two. Um, <coughs> so in here, I need to specify what labels I have. So I'm going to click on label options. Okay. Um, and... Uh, you need to have a look on your um, label box and hopefully you'll have a code in here that will be listed. Um, I'm just going to choose Avery A4 and A5. A4 is a European size and A5. Um, and let me just have a look. Okay, so the label type um, that's on the side of my uh, box is Avery label. 3425. Now it's great when you do find the code on the side of your of the box of labels. Sometimes you won't and you have to manually um, type it in. This is the size, it's an address label, so type is an address label. The height of the each individual label is 5 centimeters and the width is 10.5 centimeters. So that's going to be about the full page width is 21, so it's about half the page. So that means there's two labels across by a number of labels down. So that's the type of uh, one we have. If you don't have the actual code, you have to click on new la or yeah new label, and try and you know type in the actual size of each label. So it's quite a tricky process. Okay, so my ones it says it on the on the actual label box. So it's two four two five, and click on OK. And you can have a quick look and see um, that's the sort of layout. Yep, yeah, that's about right. That looks a bit like the piece of paper I have in, in my Avery label. So that's grand. We'll now move to step three. So next, select recipients. Now, we already typed in our names and addresses. We don't want to type them in again. So we're going to click on browse. And I think I put in here. Uh, yeah. So I've got, it's a little purple key. I'm looking for mail merge data confirmation letter. That was the name of the file we created already. So I'm going to click on open. Yeah, we want to put it to all of these people and click on OK. Okay, so the first thing you do is you set up one label, and when you're happy with that one label, you then um, arrange all of the, the, the labels. Okay, so um, we're going to, to uh, again, like we did the last time, uh, title, Mr. Insert merge field, first name, space, uh, last name, insert, um, sorry, press enter, uh, company name. Address line one, address line two, and county. Okay, so that's um, how we like it. We're just going to preview our labels and we'll see. Yeah, it's a bit small. Maybe I might increase the font size. So I'm going to go previous to go back um, and I'm going to just um, go home and increase the font size. That's fine. Um, and then we're going to preview our labels. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Um, so I now am happy to roll that out um, throughout the screen so I'm going to click on update all labels and you can see that all of the labels now match this first label okay I'm happy with that I now preview it and you can see yep yeah, that's looking good when I'm happy with how this looks and um, I then um, complete the merge and again I can go to print 
um, or I can uh, save it as a separate file. I often print out the same labels again and again, for example, the Christmas card list and all that sort of stuff. So sometimes I just save it uh, as a separate file. Okay, this is the end of the mail merge video.